Circle Live, we are feeling like royalty on today. Yes, we are. Sister Circle Live, we are celebrating Halloween and paying homage to the queens of the past and the queens we are today. Yes. Here to tell you about how he transformed us into these amazing looks is our lead makeup artist and uh, beauty expert. Yes, he is. Let me just say beauty expert. Mm -hmm. Okay, then, <laughs> Kelvin Myers. Yes, yes there we go. This morning, too. Yeah, you did your thing. You and Jay and Terry and Doug, like you guys really did your thing. We right. are this is this is outrageous. Absolutely. Yes. So with Cleopatra. Now, first of all, my lips are just so sharp. You know, they're red and sharp. But back in the day, I don't know if they had the good lipstick that y'all use today, but how did they achieve achieve this red lip back then? Well, first of all, let me just add on to this. Uh -oh. You are Cleopatra the seventh of the 19th dynasty of Egypt. Get yes. into it. And you set a trend. Mm -hmm. You created this red shade that made everybody wanted to follow suit. Yes. Okay? <laughs> So <laughs> even then, being pioneers in cosmetics, yes. the Egyptians created this red mm. lipstick from crushed flowers, wow. mm. ants, red okri, oh, wow. and red carmine mixed with beeswax. Wow! wow. wow. Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. Ants. Ants. Wow. It gave red staying power. Yes. 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 I love it. Yes. Absolutely. That's awesome. So me, I am Nandi. And talk to us about the different makeup from the different regions. Absolutely, and I absolutely love, you can tell how different they are. This is, I have absolutely, Cleopatra is from Eastern Africa, and now we have Queen Nandi, who mm -hmm. is absolutely from the so southern region uh -huh. of Africa. <laughs> so what we call South Africa and Zululand, she is queen of the Zululand, and what we have is a more tribal type makeup artistry mm -hmm. here. Okay, for the royal women and the royal men, we always did tribal makeup. So you have, again, a common theme in all the African makeup is the black coal liner around the eye. So you mm. see it's smudged and smoked here. So it protects the eyes from the sun, but also it deflects insects. So while you're traveling wow. in the desert, wow. it's very important to have this around your eye. And you just look absolutely amazing. Thank really you. So what you're saying is we can wear that just regular to get insects out our ass. Absolutely. We can do that today. You didn't even know it wasn't, it wasn't just about beauty. It's about protection wow. as well. Wow. Look at that. You can be fine and protected. Come on mm. now. Come on now. <laughs> Well, yes, Kells, you have dressed me finally as Queen Nefertiti. Yes. Could you join me on this side? Uh, you've dressed me finally as Queen Nefertiti, and I see that the blues and the golds are, were very prominent and popular that, during that time. Absolutely. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, Queen Nefertiti, you came so much further in the beginning mm. that it is just amazing that they were thinking that way. Mm. So you are a queen from the 18th dynasty, mm. and your husband was King Akhenaten. Yes. Come on, Akhenaten. Can, can I meet Akhenaten these days? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, you so, can, baby. As the Egyptian queen, and when you were royalty, you use malachite, crushed mm. malachite on the eyes that gave you this blue-green eyeshadow that you mm, see. Wow. And so the crushed malachite, it is antibacterial and antifungal, and mm. it is a spiritual protector. Mm. Oh, wow. Antifungal. Yes, spiritual yes. protector. Wow, yes. I need to wear beautiful. this every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying this and the royal queens off. did. Yes, yes, absolutely they did. It was not a turn off. Mm. This makes me feel very ro royal, very regal, very beautiful. And we've heard a lot about beauty, but tell us how their skincare regimen mm. was back in that era. Okay, so listen, Queen Sheba, is from Ethiopia. She reigned in Ethiopia for five years. She wow. created the kingdom that we know today mm -hmm. that is a monarchy. Mm -hmm. So you are just amazing. You also <laughs> have relationships you. with King Solomon, Whoa. and he was in love with your beautiful skin. Yes. So we know that Ethiopians typically have beautiful skin, and so they really, really were very serious about their skincare regimens, washing the face in goat milk, wow. drinking goat milk, 
staying hydrated and goat milk we know has lactic acid in it so it is and uh, it will exfoliate the skin and it keeps you looking youthful and young. Wow. Well, I'm going to get me some goat milk. You're going to that? I love it. I'm going I love today. it. Kelvin, can you explain our outfits? Yes. <laughs> explain our makeup and our headdress and everything like can you give us a little bit of backstory on our outfits mm -hmm. or just what you think or what was the vision as you created these looks for us? Well these visions are all pretty accurate to the, the, the region okay. and the time period and uh -huh. the era. However, we gave it a little bit of a modern twist. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start here with Queen Queen Makita. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we did here is what you see for Ethiopia. These are the colors of Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. Green, yellow, blue, and red are their national colors. Mm -hmm. So in all of their headdresses and all their jewelry, they always had it. So we had to make sure we had that in there. Absolutely. Okay. So of course we had to add feathers because they are the, the ostrich mm -hmm. is huge in Africa. Mm -hmm. So they always use those feathers. So that's what we did here. Green and yellow again in the gown is the uh, Ethiopian color. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gorgeous. So moving back over to this lovely lady. So again, what we did is gold and white. Mm. We know that for Egyptians, the the royalty always wore white mm. and gold. Yes. yes. All right. Beautiful. And so this is, and what I love about Queen Nefertiti, she was such an individual because you see her headpiece is more masculine than the, typically, mm -hmm. right. yes, than okay. any of the other queens and empress. So typically the males Where's wore a headdress this wow. way, but she was such um, an intricate part in uh, ruling the country during that time. She wanted to show her power. Yes. Mm. All right. Last two, real quickly. Okay. Last two. Then this is. <laughs> <laughs> Nandi is all over the place. Nandi is okay. trying to take us out. All right, she's trying to take us out. However, Nandi, you know that Zululand, you were in the south, and the, it was very hot. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, you're revealing a whole lot. Yes, I am. And then, with texture, we wanted to add in animal prints because yes. that's what they did. They mm -hmm. used animal prints and suede. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, we know that I am just gold and white like quad because I was from down to the Egypt. Absolutely. <laughs> so what we also find interesting, if you close your eyes right now, there's gold on her lids. So yes. we see in modern day that it's just a gold pigment. But in Egypt during that time, they actually use real gold. Wow. 